that led me straight. I will wait. Hey guys, I'm gonna quickly show you a really easy, obvious tra uh, transition that I'm sure loads of people have used before. Um, it's just a crossfade. Um, it's one I use all the time, so I thought I'd talk about it because why not? I've run out of things to um, make tutorials on. So basically, I've got my two clips that I'm gonna crossfade into each other so that um, Annabeth here uh, lasts a bit longer as we fade into Lavon here. So basically, I just find my beat easy. The one I'm gonna use it wasn't quite right, but yeah, mark it out because it's easier. Um, probably make it a little shorter and then get him, drag it straight over, and that's how she's cross fading into him. And we could change it so that she finishes just before he starts to speak, and so he's fully in focus then. Um, obviously, you can make it completely even so it's like even around the beat, which wouldn't be an odd number, but I can't make this look right. Yeah, like that. Um, it's up to you. We'll create a different effect. I think I'm going to go for this one. Also, um, if you are interested, you can change the fade type. And so that will affect how sh um, Annabeth, Annabeth or Levon fade into each other. So this one, as you can see, as it changes on the previous screen, does that. This would mean that she fades out quicker, I think. Um, whereas, the, where is it? This one holds her for longer, so she's still here at this point. I tend to go with the normal one, the default, but you know, you can change it to whatever your preference is and then just preview it. And when my computer eventually loads it, it's a bit slow. Um, it will look something like this. Let me Yeah, it's really easy, but I think it's quite a good effect. I think never underestimate the simple effects, that's what I would say. <laughs> um, and I hope this helps someone.